All right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen of Facebook? Today I decided to upload a video for you guys. I was throwing this on my YouTube channel and figured I'd make it for you guys too. Um, I decided to make some protein bars and this is something I've seen online in the past and I kind of tailored it to how I like it myself. Um, and they turned out tasting pretty good so I figured I'd share it. Um, if you eat protein bars or take protein powder, you can make these in four ingredients and you don't even have to cook them. So what I did was I took an I took kind uh, oats and honey granola because it was on sale at the grocery store. And this one came with toasted coconut. So it had honey flavoring and coconut flavoring, which goes good with a protein bar. Um, I'm using a GNC pure isolate cookies and cream flavored protein. A lot of people probably opt to use chocolate, but the cookies and cream one uh, tastes good to me. The isolate's just easier, easier to digest, if anyone's wondering. Um, Unsweetened almond milk from Walmart. I just pretty much buy what's ever on sale when it comes to that. And then I use Jif Natural peanut butter. Um, they turned out like this, so they're not the most appealing looking. <clears throat> well, all you do is mix the ingredients of all these into a bowl and then put them in, put them into a pan and throw them in the freezer. So I threw these in the freezer for an hour and then they sat in the fridge overnight too. And it makes up until about four servings. So Basically four strips if you want would be this large, which is pretty big. So most people probably cut these into six to eight servings. It really just depends. So I'll go over a quick breakdown of like calories and stuff for you guys. And then I'll cut the video off. So one full strip of this, if we were to cut where you see the little slit is, that entire strip, which is probably like eight inches, nine inches long, that's, uh, that's 401 calories or 400 calories right in the butt button so uh the the recipe for this i'm going to put in facebook so you don't got to worry about that but it's two cups of oats i use three and a half scoops of protein a lot of people call for four scoops but you're getting you're getting protein from the peanut butter as well so what i'm trying to do is make it like 20 grams of protein instead of the 25 as you see it's really don't need more than like 20 to 25 at a time in my opinion and then when it comes to the peanut butter so we're doing Two scoops oats, three and a half scoops protein powder, five tablespoons of peanut butter. You could use four, it tastes plenty peanut buttery to me. They, these taste kind of like uh, scotch or ruse already, so could just do that. And then last but not least, you mix it all together with half a cup of almond milk, which is, uh, you know, like 15 calories. So the two cups of oats I took were 660 calories. Uh, the three and a half scoops of protein, 455 calories. Peanut butter was 475 calories. And uh, the milk, obviously, 15 calories. What that adds up to on the bars is about 25 grams of protein per one fourth of the bar. Um, calories, you're getting like 30 to, or sorry, 401 calories, 30 to 35 grams of carbs. So they're a higher carb bar. I mean, generally, if you want to make a, a protein bar, you could try and make it below 30 is the ideal thing. I'd probably make it around 20 if I could. So if you make, you know, if you make this into six or eight, though, you're definitely doing that. And then um, last but not least, the peanut butter. Um, that's like 20% saturated fat per serving. So um, you definitely don't want to pig out on this stuff, but at the same time, if you're going to be eating sweets, this is uh, this is the way to go, people. So, hope you like the video. Have a good weekend. What's up, everybody? I'd like to make an edit to this video regarding the protein bars. So, if I were to make the protein bars again, I would actually probably take out one tablespoon of peanut butter. I mean, they tasted like scotcheroos, baby. They were so good. It's like who needs all this this peanut butter? Um, so, I'd probably take out one tablespoon, maybe make it about three to four tablespoons tops. Um, what else I would do is I'd actually make the bars thicker. So I made them pretty thin in the in the, the pan sheet. I'd probably recommend making them thicker so they form better. Put them in the freezer for two hours when you're done with them. Let them sit in the fridge overnight and you're gonna have yourself some killer protein bars. They ended up making probably about eight servings for me. So uh, the recipe is for four servings, but man, they stretched for like six, eight servings for me. So uh, they're absolutely delicious if you use the right protein powder. 
Uh, you just gotta, you gotta experiment and try it out. So thanks for watching guys. Let's all get big. See you later.